What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 4 here bringing us more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today we are going to be doing the best class setup for the AK-12 regular. This is the normal version, this is not another version, this is the first version that you have for the AK-12. Once I unlock the IRP, I will be doing a best class setup for it, so hold on for that one because I'm pretty sure it's not going to come soon, but I'll try my best to get that freaking you know, package that will unlock for it, unlock it for me. So anyways, moving on to the extra information about the AK-12. I suggest to keep your distance when it comes down to taking on an enemy because in short range, it is super weak. So keep your distances and it takes like around eight to nine bullets to take out an enemy from medium range and long range. So from short range, it takes like around 10. I don't know why, but most of the time I find myself wasting like around 10 to 12 bullets from short range. So it is super weak from short range. Keep your distance and you should be able to do just fine. A great example of this is for you to watch my gameplay that I posted on Monday about the DLC map uh, Sideshow. I used the AK-12 and um, I did it pretty much good. I got all my kill streaks, the bombing run, the assault, aerial assault drone, and the UAV. I kept my distance. I was sniping from across the map with the AK-12 and I did just fine. So. The AK-12, use it on big maps, medium-sized map, but do not use it on small maps. If you use it on small maps, keep your distance, all right? Do not go from short range. So now moving on to the attachments. The first attachment we're going to be talking about will be the Target Enhancer. The reason why I have this one, though, not the other one, the regular red dot side, is because the red dot side kind of throws you off. So what I'm trying to say is that the Target Enhancer gives you like a body heat signal, right? And uh, once you target your enemy, you can see their, their body, right? The body heat. And um, that the thing is that the, the freaking target enhancer will not throw you away since the red dot side is the enemy's body heat. You know where exactly to aim. That's why I have the target enhancer so I can know where to aim when it comes down to long distances. It gives you like a little red dot side like right there. And uh, if the enemy moves, you can no longer see it. So the, the enemy's body heat is your red dot side. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say here with the target enhancer. It kind of did help me out a lot. And I'm telling you, watch that gameplay that I posted on Monday so you guys can see how I used the target enhancer. Uh, moving on to the next attachment will be the foregrip. The reason why I need this one is because this will make the gun super accurate. It feels like you're not even shooting with recoil. It feels like the G36 from uh, Modern Warfare 3 most of the time. So with the foregrip, you will make this gun super accurate from that range. Now moving on. To the next attachment now this one's kind of random i know because i was talking about how great this gun is from long range and here i have like attachment like for short range stuff the reason why i have the stock attachment is because when it comes down to medium range you need to kind of trick out your enemy like if you're pretending to go left or right and sometimes when you run out of boost you can't boost up right you can't boost up or left or right so you got to move up move out somehow and if you don't have the stock attachment you're just a sitting duck and having the AK-12 right there, I mean, you're not going to be good from short range. So when it comes down to short range to medium range, the stock is going to be always there for you. So you're always going to be moving left and right like while shooting, and you're just going to throw off the enemy. So um, it is a great way to defend yourself when it comes down to medium range and short range. So that's why you need the stock. So moving on to the to the perks, you can have whatever you want. I'm, I've been using the low profile hardline and blast suppressor in my latest games. The score streaks, you can have whatever you want also, but I'm using Bombing Run, Assault, assault Drone, uh, UAV, and the Exo Ability I've been using is Exo Overclock because I, move, I use um, I usually move super slow with the AK-12 and I don't like that, so that's why I have the Exo Overclock. So there it is, guys, the AK-12, the most accurate Assault Rifle in the game. Use it, but keep your distances, and that's how you're going to be able to take out your enemies. If you guys want a good example of this AK-12, Go back into my game plus I'm telling you the reason why I'm repeating this because I know most of you guys will not even see it and and just use it you're gonna say like, oh the fucking gun sucks. Watch my gameplay and see how the gun is pre pretty much properly used. So that is it. If you guys want to see more best class setup and more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplays, make sure you subscribe for more.